What is polydextrose? If you look at the ingredients list of many low carb protein bars, you'll often notice polydextrose listed. I'm Dr. Jim Stepani and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be covering a wide array of topics on training, nutrition, supplements, as well as anything else my subscribers want to know. If you find this information helpful, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. What is polydextrose? If you look at the ingredients list of many low-carb protein bars, you'll often notice polydextrose listed. In fact, polydextrose is used as a thickening agent, humectant, and stabilizer in many low-carb and low-sugar food products, like candies, cakes, and other desserts. But what exactly is polydextrose? Polydextrose is a synthetic or man-made polysaccharide or polymer that is 90% glucose, usually from corn. The polymerization of the glucose occurs in the vicinity of sorbitol, which is typically extracted from berries, along with the presence of citric acid as a catalyst to produce glucose bonds that resist digestion or breakdown by the enzymes in the small intestine. So polydextrose, which is classified as a soluble fiber, passes through the small intestines with the majority of it not being broken down or absorbed by the body. Once it passes through the small intestines, it enters the large intestine or colon where it's fermented by beneficial gut bacteria to produce beneficial short-chain fatty acids like butyrate or butyric acid, acetate, and propionate, which provide numerous benefits to a multitude of systems in the body. And yes, this prebiotic effect has been confirmed in clinical research studies. Despite these benefits, many people still talk negatively about polydextrose simply because it's man-made. And while I don't fault anyone for being cautious of consuming anything that's man-made, with polydextrose on the other hand, the numerous studies that have been done show that there are benefits with its use, not problems. Thankfully, there are numerous studies done on the use and the safety of polydextrose. Studies show it to be safe with no toxicity, teratology, carcinogenesis, mutagenicity, or genotoxicity. Polydextrose has been approved for use in over 50 countries around the world and has been used as a food additive for over 40 years. In fact, the European Food Safety Authority published a reevaluation of polydextrose as a food additive in 2021 and concluded that there are no safety concerns for its use. Because it is a soluble fiber, polydextrose has a very low glycemic index. It's around five. And it's been shown in clinical studies to help lower the glycemic index of meals that are rich in high glycemic carbs. Polydextrose may also help to lower cholesterol levels as other soluble fibers do. Research has also shown that consuming polydextrose with a meal reduces the number of calories subjects ate at a subsequent meal, meaning that polydextrose can help to increase satiety from a meal to help you eat less throughout the day. Clinical studies show that as little as four to five grams of polydextrose per day can be beneficial to the gut microflora, increasing the number of good gut bacteria, such as lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. Polydextrose has also been shown to help to increase the absorption of the minerals calcium, magnesium, and iron. The only potential negative side effect of polydextrose is the gas that's produced when it's fermented by the good gut bacteria, which can cause flatulence. However, most people don't experience excessive flatulence until they consume upwards of 15 to 20 grams 
per serving. In fact, numerous studies show that polydextrose is well tolerated even at doses above 50 grams per day. So there you have the real truth on polydextrose. While it is a man-made ingredient, it's a safe, delicious, and healthy way to lower the sugar, carbohydrate, and calorie content of manufactured foods like protein bars, while providing the multitude of benefits of soluble fiber and prebiotics.